the beautiful terrains of India. Hiding deep in these forests are some of the world's most elusive big cats, the tigers. But these tigers are in trouble. As they stray in the world of humans, many of them are killed or imprisoned and sometimes accused of man-eating. Tiger is a fascinating animal. In India, there are many uh, species of uh, tiger, but Royal Bengal tiger is one of the uh, courageous species in India. Uh, tiger is our uh, uh, pride animal of India. Tigers are not so different from us. They seek the same thing as we human beings seek. They need water to drink, they need food to survive, and they shelter to hide themselves. Currently, the tiger population has reached around 3,200 and that is very less for the, for the existence. That's why we need, we need to implement some, uh, some new using technology. Tigers getting extinct is not just a sign of increasing human intervention, but it also shows that how unjustified we have been towards nature. The Indian tiger population at the turn of the 20th century was estimated to be about 40,000 tigers. Although, when the first countrywide tiger census was conducted in the year 1972, it was found that there remained only 1,827 tigers, a shocking number. In wake of that, the Wildlife Protection Act was brought into force. In the year 1973, Project Tiger was launched. Various tiger reserves were planned to be created in the country based on a core buffer strategy. In the year 1980, 15 tiger reserves were ready with a total area of 24,700 square kilometers. In the year 1984, more than 1,100 tigers were estimated to inhabit these reserves, which was a fair achievement. In 1992, global organizations such as the World Wildlife Fund contributed much funding to the Project Tiger, which was immensely helpful. By the year 1997, 23 tiger reserves encompassed an area of about 33,000 square kilometers, but the fate of the tiger habitat outside the reserves was precarious due to pressure on habitat, incessant poaching and large-scale development projects such as dams, industries and mines. Eventually, however, it was discussed that the project's field directors had been manipulating tiger census numbers in order to encourage more financial support. In fact, the numbers were found to be so exaggerated as to be biologically impossible in some cases. In March 2004, the Ministry of Environment sanctioned an amount of 1.3 crore rupees towards a project to map all the forest reserves in India. In the year 2006, Project Tiger was converted to NTCA, a statutory authority with more power and separate funding for the conservation of tigers. Conservation of tigers and their prey species faces challenges from the need for income, lack of awareness and the lack of land use policy in landscapes having tiger reserves. On 24 July 2012, the Supreme Court coming heavily on several defaulting states for not having notified buffer zones as directed earlier by the court, directed that there should be no tourism activity in the core region of a tiger reserve across the country. As we know everyone, the tiger's uh, breed is going to be uh, decreasing day by day. Uh, it's everyone's responsibility that uh, we have to take correct uh, policies and uh, uh, measures to protect the tigers in any case of you. But are they getting what they seek? The answer is no. Because it's not that you build a reserve, uh, conservatory else somewhere pick the animal from their natural habitat. It should not be like that. You build a better place, means maintain the natural habitat, conserve the natural resources in jungles, and give them a better home. The dynamics of forest management and wildlife conservation have been distorted due to the need for income, lack of awareness, lack of land use policy, and population pressure. Since the traditional use systems of people are neither static nor benign, 
these should not be overlooked. A regional development approach in landscapes having tiger reserves is of utmost importance in our country. It should be viewed as a mosaic of different land use patterns, including tiger conservation and prevention, forestry, sustainable use and development, besides fueling socio-economic growth. We can help in conserving the wildlife by creating awareness. Anyone and everyone can help if they put their mind to it by creating posters, flyers and even commercials so that each person understands the importance of wildlife by spreading education about the importance of wildlife conservation we can really make a change then if we stop hunting and poaching for skins and other animal products we can really help in wildlife conservation we can other ways to Help in wildlife conservation is by protecting the forest and supporting zoos and wildlife sanctuaries. So far the government and other organizations have worked a lot to save the wildlife. When the future we ha we expect a lot more. The government is taking measures to ensure that the natural habitat of the tigers is protected. more why are we going to continue uh, killing the animals using the forest no we must stop ourselves and help towards conserving conserving the wildlife thank you